Niccolo Machiavelli lived in Florence during the Renaissance. He was a senior official in the Florentine Republic, and he was charged with giving advice to the king. Now, during this time in Italy, there was a lot of war going on and a lot of chaos. So, <clears throat> this was Machiavelli's job, but he was also a philosopher, and specifically, he studied the philosophers like Plato, who advocated for certain ideals like love and kindness and goodness. Now, Machiavelli felt like Plato's ideal was not able to be applied in real life. He had this frame of mind of living in a chaotic war situation, and he felt like Plato was just like uh, thinking idealistically instead of realistically. And so, what he felt was required is that you deal with people as they are, not some ideal state. And how they were, in Machiavelli's definition, they were violent, greedy, and rotten. And he wrote a book called The Prince. It was basically instructions to the king on how to deal with people as they are, in his definition of that. So before we think of Machiavelli as a bad philosopher, we need to look at our own behaviors and how we climb. So specifically, uh, Machiavellian philosophy, it has this negative quality where all kinds of unscrupulous behaviors are justified means for achieving an end. That's the essence of the philosophy, is the end justifies the means. Like the all-important end of the achievement justifies any way of getting there. So for Machiavelli, you know, stopping the war and the chaos and achieving peace justifies any behaviors like lying, deception, and even killing innocent people to achieve that goal. So when we think about our own behaviors, in when we're going climbing or when we create outcomes we can get frustrated you know because we're not achieving our goals or progressing as quickly as we'd like we can also experience post-send depression where we're like on cloud nine for a little while and then uh, we don't have that sense of that achievement anymore and we start getting depressed and and we have a strategy for getting out of that by setting another goal so that we have something to work toward again. So we're, we're addicted to achievement in this way. We constantly have to set a goal toward achievement in order to feel good about ourselves. This is, you might say, a Machiavellian approach to our climbing. So when we're addicted to achievement in this way, we can feel lost. So it's not nice to feel lost. We want to find ourselves. We want to feel like we know where we're going, how we, like we know who we are. So instead of setting another goal to find yourself, you can go in search of your true self, one that is never lost anymore once you find it. And you can do it in two ways, okay? First, you need to understand what's driving the Machiavellian approach to climbing. And it's the ego or the identity that we create around achievement or the identity we create about ourselves that's defined by achievement. At a basic level, we feel worthwhile when we're achieving and worth less when we're not. So we can see how this drives that addiction cycle. We have to achieve all ways in order to feel like we're worthwhile. So we achieve, we feel worthwhile, but then we go into a cycle of not achieving, feel worthless, and we have to start all over again. So we become aware of what's driving this. It's becoming conscious of that, noticing it, becoming aware. And then number two, we face our ego and our fear. 
or fear of not achieving with honesty. You know, we, we look at that pattern and we start separating how we feel about ourselves, our identity from the outcomes we're creating. So we need to look at our behavior. We look at noticing when we're getting frustrated, noticing when we're getting depressed, noticing when we're setting goals to get out of that depression and shifting toward curiosity. You know, specifically curiosity around the learning process. So in other words, instead of frustration and depression being necessary means for achieving our goals, the means of the learning process are an end in themselves. So you don't have to exhibit Machiavellian's worst behaviors in order to achieve your goals. You can live Plato's ideals while struggling and enjoying your learning journey. So a simple practice tip would be becoming conscious, noticing when you're feeling this way, having these manifesting these kinds of behaviors, the frustration, the depression. Notice this and shift it toward curiosity. And you can ask yourself some questions. Questions are great for being able to pull yourself out of these kinds of states, shift your focus so that then you can focus on learning. Questions like, why am I frustrated? Why did I fall? What do I need to learn here? You know, questions help direct your focus in a new way. So that's the lesson. You can go to warriorsway.com, check out the full text and audio. Also check out our books and courses and reach out to us. We'd love to work with you on your mental training journey. Thanks.